Hey everybody, welcome to the TRB YouTube channel. We appreciate you stopping by for this special video because we're going to talk about celebration and celebrating celebration specifically on Sunday, April 9th at the O2 Center in London. Mm -hmm. Did I get all that right? We're off to yeah. a good start here, folks. Yeah. <laughs> and we are joined by special guests, obviously John, James, and Lacey with you as always. And our special guests, Martin Keeler, Jed Shepard, and Mark Hamilton, who are all collectively part of this dyad, bringing you the Cantina 2, uh, the follow-up to the one from Star Wars Celebration 2016. So, gentlemen, welcome to uh, TRB. Welcome to our Resistance base. And I'm excited to talk about your event that's happening at Star Wars Celebration this year. Oh, thanks, thanks for having us. Yeah. So... I wanted to start things off just out of the gate so everyone knows where they can get tickets if they're going to celebration or if they're if maybe they don't have celebration tickets but they're in London and they can go to this event where can wh what is it when is it uh, and where can they go to get tickets for this thing Okay so I'll start off on that one um, you can go get tickets from axs.com Look up the Indigo at the O2 or www.thisiscantina.com. And that's got some videos and stuff so you can see what it's all about. It's uh, Sunday the 9th. So it's the last sort of proper night of celebration. It does go on the Monday, but this is, we know a lot of people on Monday evening are going to disappear into London or even get their flights back home. So this is the last hurrah. Sure. Um, what it is, is it's a gig for Star Wars fans. Um, we did do it in 2016, which we'll talk a bit about, but this is on a whole different scale. This is actually in the venue that Prince played. That gives you oh. an idea of where this <laughs> place <laughs> is. Uh, if you know the iconic O2 Arena, this is in that venue. Uh, so it's not the oh, arena. Uh, Elton John's playing a little gig there that night. We're in the second biggest venue in that, <laughs> uh, in, in that complex. And what you're going to get is a full night of music. Uh, we've got Ash headlining, who are amazing, which you'll hear a bit about from Mark and, and Jed. Uh, we've got DJ Elliot, who's big, big friend of the show. I know we've got mutual friends there. He's doing. Oh, he's my boy. Set. Yeah, yeah. He's doing a full set, um, which you don't often get to see in the UK. As uh, long as he to... plays the shot song with the guns and the stormtrooper, be... that's my only song that I... every time if you see me guys at the show and I am harassing <laughs> Elliot, I'm in front of him going shots play that shot song yeah and these Abs guys saw me do it i did it at the 501st party yeah. <laughs> last year <laughs> yeah what did was that the anaheim one or the yeah uh, she, yeah. yeah yeah so yeah. I, I was at 2016 that. i worked right. that one but ah. i didn't go to the party because you know you're working so you can't go to the party but i heard yeah. it was bananas yeah absolutely yeah i heard so straight bananas well, we, and we, so we've got Elliot, which yeah, we don't need to sell anymore, but we will sell him during this. <laughs> um, we've also got Blues Harvest, um, who actually probably did their first big Star Wars gig when we did Cantina, and they've gone on to do massive things. They played Disneyland Paris, they did the Chicago Bash um, at the Science and Industry Museum, yeah. and right. we just saw them this week. They were doing the Mandalorian three launch. Party yes, for they Disney were at the Lucasfilm. Forge thing. Yeah, it was, yeah, that was awesome. Great. So we popped along to see them there. So that gives you an idea of how good they are. You know, Disney is Lucasfilm are using them now as their band for their events. You're going to get right. to see them with some special guests, which we'll talk about in a second. And Level Up <laughs> Leroy, who you may well have seen at New York Comic Con, is one of on uh, Elliot's roster. He's probably like the biggest UK Comic Con DJ. He does amazing video mixes as well, very much in Elliot's. They've got their own different styles, but you can see they yeah. both cover it on there. That's cool. just the basic ticket. <laughs> That's oh, the £36 pound ticket. <laughs> forgot about Darth Elvis. Oh, and Darth Elvis. How could I forget? Darth Elvis doing his last ever live public last? performance. Last? Yeah. Really? Oh, my. The end of an era. End of the an era. final and time to see him before we, we put him Darth in Darth Elvis has left the building? <laughs> put him in the building. Yeah. He's yeah. yeah. left the, the galaxy. <laughs> yeah, we, we fully intend to prove it will be his last... Uh, he's like but guys i have more you're like no no <laughs> that's it yeah i think yeah. i already know where you're going by the that's... way i pulled up the poster i probably should have brought it oh, here yeah. just to give you an idea of how epic this is going to be this is this is what you have to look forward to yeah. oh man <laughs> yeah. i'm surprised you didn't put dj elliot in his lobot outfit on here i honestly 
I'm not even kidding you. When he calls me, his picture is him in his Lobot outfit. Uh, makes sense. That makes sense. He's got, is yeah. that um, still at uh, Rancho, isn't it? His Lobot gear, I think. Oh, I don't know. Disney, Disney, took, the, yeah. Disney took the costume away, but I still yeah. think of him as DJ Lobot. Wow. That's, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a killer. That's a killer poster. And so, so again, the bullet points uh, the Indigo at the O2. Yeah. Um, don't go to Elton John. Go to this. Just to clarify. <laughs> Who's Elton John? Yeah, we don't know him. Um, but and then the best place to get tickets is thisiscantina.com and yeah. and find the Indigo uh, All icon the links and there. go there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anything else that people should know? Is there a start time? What time should they get there? Uh, any any yeah. uh, where the best way to get there? Just you know, for all the people who just like want to know all the bits. Uh, yeah. How to get there. So I'm doing all the logistics. That's why I'm front ending this, and then, then you can talk to the actual talent. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. But um, so there's an actual cable car takes you from XL straight to the O2 over the Thames. So that in itself is an experience you want to do. It's by far the quickest, the easiest way to get there. This is the closest venue to the o, uh, to the XL by a long stretch. If you don't want to do the cable car, it's only a couple of stops on the underground. Every, everyone does the cable car. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do, do the anyway. cable car. That sounds a- cool. Absolutely. It's, it's uh, yeah. six thirty opening of doors. Probably start about seven o'clock. That's when the story starts for the evening. It'll go on to about eleven PM. But then if you get the VIP ticket, which is the King's Row ticket, you'll get uh an exclusive lanyard to get in. You get a private entrance, you get your own entrance into there so you don't have to queue up in the way that you normally would for a venue. You'll get an exclusive Cantina 2 badge. You'll be sitting on the balcony area in a, a more luxurious seat. But the key bit to that, you was also get an invite to the after party. Uh, so there is a private VIP room. There'll be an after party. An Atomic Blonde, who, again, people will know from a stage oh, host. Oh, she's wonderful. Absolutely. Yeah. She's going to do a DJ set long into the morning. Oh, cool. And the, and the Indigo have said they're not going to shut that room until the last person has finished their drink. All right. So, There's ways you can work on that, that last just person, buy a yeah. bunch of drinks and just have it sit there. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah they they say they want the party to carry on. So that's so that's wow. what you get for your VIP ticket as well. Um, so so yeah. one, of, one of the more interesting things to me about this whole thing is you said that's when the story begins. Can you talk a little bit about that, <laughs> Jed? That's what yeah. I hand over to you. <laughs> So, so in 2016, when we did this, um, again, we were just, we're just fans. We just wanted to do something that we would want to see. Because the whole idea was, in America, like where you guys are, there's a little bit more to do after celebration, more events going on. And in the UK, we, we never really do it, right? It's all so small and not really <laughs> thought out. So we thought, okay, how about we do, we, we, we make an event that people will talk about for forevermore. Not think about it. Americans <laughs> always want more. Excess, exactly. Excess, excess. <laughs> so, you know, in 2016, that's when Celebration was, was here at the XL. And then Martin had this, had this great idea to do something big for it. I just done the 20th, I just organized or helped organize the 20th, 20th anniversary for Ash, the band that the Mark's in. So I put on this mm-hmm. weird gig where they played multiple times, all this weird stuff happens that doesn't normally happen at a gig. Uh, so Mark, so so Martin said to me, "How about you do that for Star Wars fans?" Um, so we worked out this this night would be bands themed cocktails, which is you know it, it's become a bit of a cliche at, at kind of Star Wars events. There's like the blue milk and stuff, but our blue sure, milk yeah. is better than any other blue milk, <laughs> guaranteed, <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> and, and obviously lots of other cocktails. Um, but the, and we have all the, the costume people, etc. But I think the thing that makes us more unique is uh, as soon as you step into the venue, you are part of a story. There's a story that runs throughout the whole night. There's um, multiple screens around the venue where the story will continue, and between bands, there's like story elements. So you're not just going. So this there is like going to, to the Star bands. Cruiser, but way cheaper. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, way cheaper. That's a bold this is like getting into the car park of the cruiser. <laughs> yeah. exactly. All right. Okay. But, but it did start. It did start in 2016 because no one really knew what we were doing, and I'm, I'm pretty sure Jed and I didn't really quite know how it was going to land. That point <laughs> the first time, but we knew we got it. Dare I say, right when the evening started with the opening crawl on a big screen, and right. uh, the Force Awaken hadn't long been out. Um, yeah, it was 2016, so we went to Rogue One territory. Rogue One. Yeah. 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 
but the first line that came up that Jen had written in the in the opening crawl was um, Ash have gone missing. <laughs> ah, <laughs> and, and, and then there was, was a whole the night, yeah. that was the narrative, and the whole thing was about how the bands had to basically do a degree of distraction for the first order to well, That's whilst cool, whilst man. we found Ash. Jed's busy writing at the moment to tie all the elements we've got for the evening. It's a lot of moving pieces. Wow. <laughs> it's yeah. a lot of moving pieces. Because one That's of the other crazy. things we have is, like we did last time, a lot of special guests. A lot of special yeah. guests that will be on stage and a lot of special guests that will be in the audience. And these aren't only special guests you'll see at Celebration. Some of them are only coming to Cantina. Yeah. And, yeah, I can, <laughs> like we, we basically how we want to do this is we want you to go there and not believe your eyes basically some of the <laughs> some of the stuff that we are trying to pull off and we will pull off you will not mm. believe your eyes and you, you'll take video of it you'll take photos but people will swear it's photoshop because it <laughs> I mean one of the things we can tell them now right mm-hmm. yeah there's one thing we find out today right it's okay to talk about it oh yeah so okay. um do you want me to announce it yeah go on yeah yeah it's not so, the biggest thing, but it's you know it's a big it's thing. Pretty for good. Us. Okay, we're gonna stop right there. Everything you're doing is big. Let's okay. let's not downplay. <laughs> let's not downplay the work that you're doing. I, and I like I'm that. not loving that, but I'm let's hearing go things into, like a lot of moving pieces, it. and I'm like, they're understating what it's what <laughs> so going. And yes, Jed, correct me if I'm wrong, but Jed caught himself by saying we're gonna try to do something. And he's like, wait, Yoda says you do or do not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we're gonna do it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, so let me uh, fill it because because you guys are huge Star Wars fans, right? Yes. Go, Wait, go, what Star Wars? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is an Indiana if Jones bag. Yeah, yeah. If you go to the Cantina, right? Greedo's got to be there, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you're at a Cantina drinking, <laughs> you're going to have shots, <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to want to know. Will Greedo have his shot first? Uh, or is it going to be you? So Paul Blake will be there. Oh, wow. And there will be an opportunity to, to see who shot have, first. have your shot with him. That is oh cool, God. man. Wow. John's on board for that already. You had him at <laughs> Greedo. Now, do you have to say, is he a pro McClunky or anti McClunky? That's what I would like to know. <laughs> <laughs> you have to ask. I think it depends how many shots you give him. <laughs> I, think, I think after a certain amount, he's McClunky all over. <laughs> yeah, he's that's like, fantastic. I don't care at this point. That's Good. really cool. Greedo in the house. That's awesome. Yeah. I like hearing yeah. that. That's very cool. I, I um, like this combination of Star Wars meets horror. I keep, I, I like Rock Show. I keep thinking of uh, like a Guar show or something. It's like what we can expect. Yeah. Or Kiss. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, like, Kiss. M- yeah. I, I'm, a, I'm a screenwriter, director. Um, if, I don't know if your audience knows the film Host, which was a, a a couple of years ago a film kind of called Host, which was all set on Zoom and it was like it it blew up and that's kind of what I'm known for the the most. This horror film called Host from a couple of years ago. And then last year I had a film called Dashcam, which came out through Blumhouse. So people are expecting all kinds of craziness at this gig, <laughs> and we're, we're going to have to yeah. deliver. So, okay. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm got, getting more and more excited just talking to you got, guys. We got something that we got a special guest that is going to be playing with Ash that we can't fully reveal yet, but we we told you guys before. <laughs> yep, and he is like it's going to be a dream from dream come true for us to play with him because he is legend. Yes, and uh, yeah, and yeah, we were privileged to find out, uh, and they will reveal it at some point, and it's really cool. So uh, <laughs> no doubt about it. Now, Mark, I Martin told me that you had. A, an interesting story about the episode one rap party that Ash uh, performed at. Is that, uh, is that, uh, well, let's hear a little bit about oh, this uh, story. So I think, so like around about 1996, we were, we had, we had like a number one album in the UK and we it kind of blew up for, it blew up around the world. So we went on a two year, two year world tour and we had a, this is before even reality TV. We had like a camera crew follow us for like, about 18 months and, and made this movie a tour movie and it was the film was never released but it was kind of a self-production we we paid for it all ourselves and there was a script written for it and actually you mcgregor narrated it narrates he narrates the movie wow so on the day that he was doing this the recording in the studio it was in soho in london 
we met because we were all we were all based in London at the time. So we met up with him in the afternoon in a, in a pub afterwards, and we were just hanging out, just having a drink, you and McGregor. And this was like after Train Spotting had really blown up, so we were kind of like mm-hmm. in, we were kind of starstruck with him. And it's yeah. before he it's before he was Obi Wan, but I knew he was going to be Obi Wan because I had been like on all the old message boards. This is like what twenty five years ago, and I knew he was in the movie. So we were just talking about like the new Star Wars movie a little bit, and he just said, "Hold on a second, and he called someone. And he, he made a quick phone call, and then he came back and said, "Are you guys free in two days' time?" And we were like, um, "I guess we can be." And then he said, "Do you want to play at the rap party for the Phantom Menace?" And we're like, <laughs> and "We're like, okay." So they went back on the phone, and he said, "And they, they, you know, he told someone, and then they, they built a stage inside the feed hangar, like with the N ones and stuff." Wow. And then in two, and so like in forty eight hours or so after that, we were playing the music for the cantina band in front of all the cast and crew and george was there and it was pretty phenomenal wow man that's hey that's man. funny he's like are you free in two days you're like nah man we got a gig downtown it's like no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, yeah we're free we're absolutely free that is so cool man gee yeah that was so, pretty wild so were you meant to be in the phantom menace uh well the, band, the whole band was meant to be in the in the crowd scene at the pod racing or did i imagine that i think you dropped that Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the, the whole crowd were thinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah that have been, that's it. That'd have been a cute. Yeah, tip. little cute. Yeah, yeah cotton <laughs> swabs or whatever. Yeah. So, um, like I said earlier, your party in 2016 was one of the ones everybody always talked about. So, going into uh, this year, what should people wear to this party? Like, what should people expect, or what? Yes. How should they be prepared to party? Like, is this like a dress-up event? Is this like? Yeah. So we encourage costumes. But we also say, don't forget, it's a gig. So it's probably not going to be the best thing in the world after three hours to be in full <laughs> school trooper gear uh, at a concert. But... Like the Rancor outfit? Like... That's it. Oh, please, <laughs> please come with that. Well, we've, got, we've, got our own, we've got a lot of people in costume. A lot of people yeah. in costume are going to be there anyway. Yeah. So feel free. But yeah, just 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 be comfortable because there'll be people yeah. drinking as well. So you don't want your expensive you know, costume yeah. getting ruined by... Uh, blue yeah. milk going all over you. Um, <laughs> we're, we're expecting a real mix. So basically, wear what yeah. you want is the answer. Um, it was really funny. We went to check out the venue the other day, and the venue are really like into this. And they were positively like saying, oh, well, if people do turn up with the full gear, we're accommodate it. And we said, yeah, but yeah. you don't want people turning up with like the weapons because, you know, you oh, have to right. weapons right. check yeah. and all that sort of stuff. And they were like, oh, we can do weapons check. It's really great. It was like, no, seriously, you really don't want people turning up. <laughs> <laughs> so mm-hmm. we got the venue kind of like egging us on a bit more, more than we on that. So, yeah. Where people want to be on board with this stuff, you know, as soon as they hear yeah. Star Wars, people want to be involved. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're yeah. looking forward to seeing, but it is definitely where what you want. I'd, I'd say going universe or bounding would be the best for me. Bounding's cool. Okay. Yeah, I, I think bounding nice. would be best for me. But costume, we are going to get costumers there. Um, if you go in costume, you'll be a center for attention as well. People will want pictures and stuff, but do just remember it's going to be a full on gig. Yeah. So, <laughs> and you know, you want it for half an hour. <laughs> yeah, because if you're at celebration, because you'd be at celebration in the in the morning or for the afternoon, it'll get it gets sweaty in in celebration. <laughs> and if you go straight to a gig afterwards as right. well, right. it's uh, yeah. Think of yeah. the other people around you as well. Are <laughs> <laughs> our, our lightsabers encouraged? Yeah. yeah, of course they are. <laughs> yeah. nice. Don't of hit people they. with them, but you yeah. know. <laughs> but yeah, now, lightsabers would be great. <laughs> I've, in terms of like just trying to visualize the experience, because this is going to be my first cantina, uh, hopefully of many. Hopefully, there's a bunch of these going forward at uh, future events. But um, so you get in there, you got your ticket. Are you relegated to your seat, or is there uh, you can move around wherever, like free yeah. room? Yeah, so, floor, so floor tickets. the main floor standing. Um, okay. So okay. it's about an 18,000 capacity standing at the uh, 18,000. Sorry, 1,800. I was going to say, 18,000. I need to think bigger. No, okay. it's uh, 1,800, I should have said. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1,800 right. standing. And then you've got the King's Row, which is uh, right. an area for the luxury seating. And then you've got a balcony mm-hmm. behind that if you. If you're like me, I'm going to be 50 this year. I kind of like to sit down every now and again and watch a <laughs> gig. Uh, so we've got put space up there, which is the same price as the floor standing. But for this kind of thing, I would recommend you're either going to do the VIP Kings Road or you probably want to be on the floor standing because that's where 
you're gonna get the fun other stuff happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If right you're on. in VIP, can you walk around in standing? Um, yes, is the answer at the moment. If it gets to full capacity, we're going to have to work a little bit on that. That makes sense. But but at the moment, we're working on the basis people will be able to move around. Okay, cool. Exactly. And one of the other things, it's not like a normal gig. I mean, it is like Mm. a normal gig, as there's alcohol and there's bands playing, (laughs) but there's entertainment all around. And Yeah, you had um, said there's screens and, like, different story uh, elements. Yeah, plus more. There's there's lots of stuff. Photo opportunities. Love um, that. Plus more. I'm being very careful about what I say because yeah. um, <laughs> we're not allowed to confirm things yet. But there's, there's things <laughs> happening on the on the on the edges of of the gig as well. And uh, it's like a, it's like a yeah. mini music festival, isn't it, Jed? It's like it's yeah. not just a regular gig. Mm. It's like a it's a Star Wars music festival. Yeah, that's really it's, cool. It seems like you guys should be there. Should be a good place to follow on social media. Do you have so? Do you have a particular place where you're making announcements and and things like where would be a good place for people to follow? Uh, this is Cantina everywhere. So, at this is Cantina um, on Instagram, on TikTok, on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, but also the website www.thisiscantina.com has all of the links, all the information, all of the news. But uh, the social the, the socials are probably probably best. Um, and yeah, we'll be drip feeding information out because, and especially as it gets to the few weeks beforehand when uh, we know 100% everything's locked in because right now you know someone who's flying over from America may something may happen they may, may mm. not turn up so we don't want to you know count our chickens before they've hatched uh, but yeah follow us for the, for the latest information yeah. and all, all those uh, socials and, and it's the way we always sell it you know your basic ticket of 36 pounds even if this special stuff wasn't happening you're getting the gig you're getting the yeah. full line up we've got them there mm-hmm. We know we know Star Wars fans. You know we're Star Wars fans the same way you guys are. Everyone, every Star Wars fan likes a little little thing that you're not going to see anywhere else that you're yes. not expecting. So it's getting that balance of announcing things so that you hype things up, but also you want surprises on the night. We want the were you there moments when that happened. I like that. The FOMO like will that. be real. Yeah. yeah, and that's that's what I was, you know I was going to say. You know I'm this is my first time going to Europe. I'm sure there's a lot of people going to celebration. They're in the same boat as me. They're going to want to do uh, probably some London sightseeing. They want to go to the pubs throughout the week. But the last <laughs> night, they already did all the pubs and stuff. Go to the Star Wars party and yeah. experience this. Because like you're saying, you really can't. You can go to a pub somewhere. You can't experience this all the time. No. And the price is legit. Uh, you got Ash, Blues Harvest, Darth Elvis, DJ Elliot and level up Leroy, in addition to all the story elements that Jed's bringing in, it really does sound like it's going to be like being at a rock theme park in a Star Wars galaxy with like your best friends who are also nerds. Uh, so everything sounds so exciting, and I know you guys have just scratched the surface in terms of the reveal, so make sure everyone follows them on This Is Cantina on social, and of course, go to thisiscantina.com to buy the tickets. I just went there right now. It says it right there. Buy tickets. It's very easy to find. <laughs> go on your phone. Go easy, on your yeah. desktop. This is cantina.com. Click buy tickets. Get your ticket. Forget about it. And then know on that Sunday, April 9th, you're going to go party. And I'm going to be there with you guys. So I'm very excited. Nice. I was going to say, that. you guys are all there, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah we absolutely. will be there. Yeah. 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 It's going to be a fun night. Yeah. So, yeah. so is there, before we get out of here, is there any last things that you want people to know about it? Or yeah, what's the a... big thing that like yeah. people might need to know? So just one one quick thing is obviously uh, Star Wars fans they love merch and in 2016 <laughs> we didn't realize how popular our, our Cantina T-shirt would be, but we but now we do. So we didn't make enough <laughs> T-shirts last time, and it, they went in like five seconds. So <laughs> so so we're gonna make sure we have um, a a new design T-shirt available for everyone. Um, but get get there early, I would say. Like d- don't don't hang around uh, too much after. Get down there as soon as possible because you know first come first serve. We didn't mention that mm-hmm. me and Nom is gonna play with Blues Harvest. I was gonna say we forgot that already. No, yeah. Nom is. Oh announced. really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So if you saw, so Mike Quinn did sing at the Bash in Anaheim. I sorted that out. Um, he's doing something very different at Cantina. 
Oh my which god. Blows my mind. The flying the Falcon <laughs> right. Take all this ago? teasing. It's killing me. We're like yeah. four days away, guys. <laughs> well, you know, we'll tell you off air, and that'll really annoy people. <laughs> yeah. So we, mentioned, we mentioned two people on the stream here today or yeah. on, on the on the video. We've got yeah. like uh, well over 10 others we haven't even mentioned that we can't mention just yet. Oh, yeah. Way okay. more than 10, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it, it, it's not a real canteen if you're not surrounded by aliens, so you know, it's yeah. uh, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of aliens. <laughs> yeah. So it's like Ever... Maz Kanata over and over. That's a story yeah. for another time. That's oh, a story. Yeah. Yeah. Maz Kanata. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. really, after a couple of drinks, people are going to be looking around and walking around feeling like they're in the Star Wars galaxy with some killer soundtrack. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Uh, I, so, I, go ahead, Dan. I have one question uh, for Mark, and that's that you've been involved in this band for a very long time, and, and I, I know you love Star Wars, and I just got to ask you, why is it always the bass player? Because <laughs> we we at Resistance Broadcast have had a, a multitude of band members on our show, and only one time has it ever not been the bass player. Oh, really? It's always the bass wow. player. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. Um, that's interesting. Well, he's, he's, you, you can't ask him that question because he'll have to break the bass player guild. Because like because. The guitarists yeah. and drummers, <laughs> guitarists out of the and group drummers, chat, I guess. I think it's because guitarists and drummers are actually way more proficient at their at their at their instruments so they have to practice a lot more so the bass players we're just like weasels we're just winging it so we've got all this, <laughs> extra, got all time. this extra time yeah, yeah. i got you <laughs> i hear that um fellas yeah, it's it's been a pleasure chatting with you i look forward to hanging out with you in person uh hopefully we get uh some time to uh see you guys when we're uh across the pond Definitely. um but uh we look forward to everyone checking this video out getting their tickets and coming to party with you guys and us and all of our fellow star wars fans so uh really look forward to it good luck with the rest of the planning and we'll see you and we'll see all of you sunday night april 9th in london at the indigo at o2 to party for cantina 2 and uh, thank you everybody for joining us and watching this video and we'll see you in london see ya see you in london <laughs>